Calls of lies, action, and drama are being heard across several offline entertainment centers in China. Following the government's optimization of COVID-19 response measures, the offline performances market has been buzzing with activity during and before the Lunar New Year holiday. We're very happy to see the fans of our musicals are returning to the shows, and we have been receiving excellent feedback from them. Our business has started to recover from the consumer side. Yang said he will strive to increase offline communication and get more projects off the ground this year. During the last three years, there was hardly any activity in the offline performances market. Though our business was badly affected, we had meaningful exchanges with several theaters. We're not confident of a full recovery in 2023, and we'll launch several new shows. <laughs> In addition to theater performances, major shopping districts have introduced the more flexible and immersive small theaters with flexible ticket prices to attract more young people. We scheduled small theater performances during the Spring Festival. The market has recovered faster than we expected after the pandemic, so we have chosen to continue our theatrical performances during the Chinese New Year to meet the needs of our audiences. Yun said, two years ago, the company began to make strategic adjustments. The company has set up small-scale theaters in key shopping districts of major cities. Its demand is not as high as large theaters, right? Such venues don't require large areas. Generally, four or five hundred square feet is enough to meet the demand. We have released the schedule for our Chinese New Year and February season shows, and tickets for this are available for purchase. Ernie, CGTN, Beijing.